This is the Koblimaku drain where the polio virus was found following testing of water samples at the Nuguchi Memorial Center for Medical Research as part of a routine surveillance by the Regional Health Directorate. Residents here tell me children play in the drain and fish from the same place. As you can see the water drainage here, the community children have been coming here to catch fish during dry season. But looking at the water, the water itself is not healthy. So if you are getting fish from here, it means that the fish you are getting might not be good for your health. So due to that, you can get sicknesses, I mean all kinds of sicknesses from there because this water is coming from Tamale town. So all the dead from town all comes from uh, Kuku to Jakarayili, pass through Kualimago. And this water is heading to Bomago, where I live. So when you come here, to harvest fish, to go and sell or to go and use, I don't think it will be good for you. To turn on a big jam machine, Bara. To me, a big jam machine, Bara, my dark, dark, and my bern. Be my eternity. Bentunia malaria, dark. Anyago, Bentar and Tul and Tai, Kaman, a binsa, Zantibima, the bully daria. The numbers are the course of like Bemu Bema. What Pierre knew and told by Dara Dagrama, Zankanata Ban Mana, Kabzan Durban Juru. According to the Ghana Health Service, children who have been vaccinated against the polio virus are not at risk, but they express concern over those who may not be vaccinated. We find out from residents whether some of these children have been vaccinated. And yes, I'm going to be here to cry. 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 This is like one year, six months ago. I said, oh, wow. I said, I'm going to be here. 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 I actually don't know. And I have, I have not witnessed them taking the polio vaccine before. So I don't know whether they have taken this or not. That the Ghana Health Service says no child has so far been affected. Nonetheless, they are taking steps to avert an outbreak. We, we are done with the, the planning. Um, tomorrow, our expectation is that we'll be able to get some investigators, some from the community, some health care workers, train them and then deploy them into the community to be able to do some of these things uh, for us. We would also be picking samples, you know, from the community beyond where the original samples were taken because we need to know the extent of the availability of the virus within the environment. So all of that uh, will be done hopefully beginning from Friday because tomorrow, Thursday, is when we are going to orient the teams and, you know, take them through what they need to do when they go onto, onto the field. Now, once we have the data from these investigations, we'll be able to make a decision as to the next steps that we need to take, uh, including um, carrying out a mass vaccination campaign for polio um, and also the kind of messaging we should give out to, to the populace, you know, so that they can get protected. There are many of these drains in the Tamale metropolis and the Sanergo municipality which ends up in some of the dams within these communities, which communities rely on for domestic purposes. There's a need for precaution to be taken to avert any possible outbreak within these areas. Reporting from Tamale, I am Daina Ngwan for City News.